everyone so today we're continuing on the topic of work-life balance we're trying to find ways to make sure that we have enough of life happening in our life this amount of life and you're like oh my god i feel like i don't have a life <laughs> yeah you don't want to have that so i was doing some research before i did this video and i found so many articles that was talking about it's not possible to have work-life balance there is still some merit to um trying to work towards work-life balance it's just that you're not going to have equal amounts right you're not going to have an equal amount of life and an equal amount of work here there is going to be a little bit of an imbalance because you spend most of your time at work anyway but you just want to get more of life in there <laughs> you know what i mean saying so not overburdened and i talked in my previous video about getting to work earlier and i also talked about you no know, stop taking work home right here and those are some of the things that we can do to kind of get more of our life back because when you get a full-time job or even a contract or if you're an entrepreneur once you're doing a job you are dedicating majority of your life to this cause and it can it can consume your days so we really want to spend time enjoying uh, some parts of our life so let's talk about the vacation right first of all you want to take your vacation listen to me listen to the words coming out of my mouth take your vacation some people don't want to take their vacation they just work and 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 work because they feel like they're so important that the company not going to continue without them or they're working on some really important project or they feel like they're in the middle of a project and they can't leave it because they have to make sure it gets to the right place and all that stuff take your vacation please there is nothing going on at work that can do with that can't do without you you can take your vacation okay so do that and there are some people that will accumulate vacation and they don't take all of it for the year they carry over some to the next year don't do that either take your vacation because you never know what will happen next year the company could be bought out um they could go bankrupt um whatever and they may not be able to pay you for all the vacation days that they owe you so they just you know i don't know but just take a vacation because you need the break for yourself it's not even about money or anything but you need a break you've been working hard and so we have vacation days for a reason because there are studies that show that if you take your vacation you're more productive there is less stress you need to refresh you need some you need a break so take it please that's the first thing the other thing is that when you do decide to take your vacation be smart about it so if you live in the US there's lots of great credit cards that are very useful for travel so I kind know of Chase Sapphire comes to mind um, Amex comes to mind there's a couple others that as you're traveling you're earning points you're getting some benefits um, baggage benefits you know sky miles or whatever miles you know based on the airline that you're using and those will help you in your next trip to get those applied and you may pay less or have um, some kind of benefit from there so be smart about it like financially smart like don't take a loan to go on a vacation because you want to go on a vacation and be stress-free but if you take a loan then you're coming back to debt so <laughs> what's the point don't do that right enjoy your vacation try to plan ahead and I would say that if you're gonna travel internationally or if you're gonna go on a plane at all I personally avoid holidays to travel on a plane. I do not like long lines. I do not like the stress. I don't want the crowd. I just, I just can't. I would try to make sure I arrive before or after the holiday 
and I come back before after the holiday. So I'm not in the airport during the holiday at all. That's my goal. Um, a lot of times for, for big holidays like July 4th, Memorial Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, I do something local or I try to get there way ahead of the time so I'm not having the stress. So if you would travel on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday, the airlines, the airports would be emptier because there's less people on those days. The tickets will be cheaper and so it's just easier all around. You can get in, get out, you get your bags and you spend less money and time. So those are the two days that I prefer to travel on a plane. Because on your vacation, you don't want all that stress. You want to get in, you want to relax, you want to chill, you want everything to go well. And so if you end up having hiccups and stuff like that, problems along the way, at least try to make sure that you, that it ends well. Because in my case, I went on vacation in May, I went back to Jamaica, I had so much fun, but it was a headache at the beginning, like everything was going wrong and I had to buy a new ticket and then there was this delay here and there was like, oh my God. <sighs> but it ended well. And as long as it ended well and I enjoyed myself, that's the memory that I'll keep. <laughs> so try to make sure if, you're, if your vacation starts off bad, try to make sure you end it well, right? Do something fun and have a good memory. Other thing is, people always tell you, don't read your email on your vacation. Do not read your email. Relax, unwind, unplug, and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But at the same time, when I go off on a vacation, like for a week and a half or even two weeks, when I come back, there's like a mountain of emails to read. So for me, I find it better to spend like five minutes and just run through my emails. I'm not gonna respond. I'm not gonna say anything. I just wanna know what's going on. So I'm kind of in the know, but I don't have to like, make it take over my time and get pulled into it and so on. If you have the discipline, you can just read your emails and just move on, right? But at least when you come back, you're not coming back to like, stress. <laughs> so you can read your emails. I think it's okay. Well, as long as you're not, you know, engaged and fully involved in your email, that's, I think it's okay. Take shorter, more frequent vacations. It's better for you to take short vacations than to take one long vacation because you want breaks during the year to refresh and get back in focus. Now, most people sometimes have only like two weeks per year. Oh gosh, two weeks per year, huh? That's rough. I actually have been very fortunate that I've only worked at one company that gave me two weeks per year and I didn't even feel it. Like this was back in Jamaica and I worked for a company that gave me two weeks a year, but the company had such a great work-life balance, right? They had so many activities going on all the time. Like I remember one year we had, um, like for Valentine's Day, I mean, this is not even a holiday per se. They had the whole, we had like a, we have like a garden area between the buildings where we work and they decorated the whole garden area and they had singers come in to sing love songs to the staff and there was like food and drinks and music and like they just have a party for any reason <laughs> right and then there's sometimes they'd say we're all going to the beach and they would organize a transport to the beach they had you know like drinks and entertainment and music and you could invite your friends you can invite your kids your spouse i mean everybody and they'd feed everybody and just it would be like a fun day and so i didn't feel like i was i didn't feel stressed about having only two weeks because there was so much activity throughout the year that it made it just great then i moved to the u.s and it wasn't the same <laughs> tell you that but <laughs> of course where i live there's no beach just run to the beach you know what i mean i've still been fortunate because I've worked in teams that have been very, very outgoing. We had a team that would go for lunch every Thursday. We'd try different restaurants. Uh, we would do trivia on certain nights and we would just go out a lot and enjoy our time together and we would have fun. So it was fun, it was work, it was, it was everything, it was great. And then I had another company that they literally put a table tennis um, table behind the cubicle and so people would be stressed at work they just get up and start playing some table tennis and they would throw darts you know we had darts there and then on a friday they would dim the lights and bring out beers and 
<laughs> all kinds of stuff. There'd be food, donuts, and all kinds of stuff, all the time. So companies can do a lot to encourage work-life balance so that they can have the best of each employee by giving them a break so they can refresh and bring their best selves to the job. So if you work at a company that only gives you like two weeks a year, um, you could suggest different things that you can do to kind of alleviate some of the stress that each person might feel just working all the time, like going for lunch together at a company. Like um, sometimes companies give you tickets to go watch a game or something, you know, stuff that will um, help the individual to not feel like they're just working, 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 working all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So those are some of the tips I have. Again, take your vacations, take shorter, more frequent vacations, Try to be smart about when you travel and try to use the best financial sense to get the most out of this money you're gonna spend on your vacation. And I want you guys to enjoy your life, right? Enjoy your life. Um, if you can even eat your lunch outside as often as you can, as I talked about, getting to work earlier so you can leave earlier, so you can have more out of your day, and also to stop taking work home. Um, so those are my tips, you know, for improving work-life balance, Again, this video was about vacation and taking smarter vacations. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I don't have enough subscribers. So please click the button and say subscribe and show me some support. Come on, support me. Come on, how hard is that? Right? Comment, like the video, and I will see you guys next time in the next installment of Improving the Work-Life Balance. See you next time. Yes, after I finish. I'm going to talk a little bit while you talk. Okay, come. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> what you going to say? Uh, um, actually, I just love my mommy and she stay here every day. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I love my mommy. And I love you too. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and I love her so, so much. I love you much, 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 too. <laughs> and you're the super cool mommy. <gasps> Am I the super cool mommy? <gasps> wow. I'm super and cool. And we live together. Mm-hmm.